All righty, Charles. So I did um, set up the stuff, but I'm going to tell you, and yeah, I've actually, they've done one move. Um, but I'll be honest with you, Charles, it's not that uh, I don't want to or whatever, but maybe we'll just do it at, at another time when it's a bit more convenient for um, for us or whatever, like, you know, to sit down and just plan it out. But right now, I'm going to be honest with you, this is not um, all that compelling for me. Um I'm shocked. I thought I was really, 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 really scared of, you know, there's the, uh, the Hittite um, homemade chariots I was telling you about there, Charles, yesterday. Um, hopefully that'll come out. Let's see, I have to do some funky thing with my, is that how it works? Um, yeah, just not finding it compelling right now. And to be honest with you, it's, to, it's taking away from the other things that I want to do. And it's, that's driving me up the tree. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll leave it here for now. I mean, you never know what will happen. But, uh, yeah, I just really, really seriously want to get back to um, um, World War One, man. Like, it's just driving me up the tree. Um, anyways, I'll, I'll kind of go slowly so you can see what was going to happen. Or maybe I should, should have told you who the hell they are, but it doesn't really matter. Just let you have fun looking at them. Doodly 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 do. So that's the the real McCoys, the Syrians. So yeah, I'll, I'll t t quickly tell you. So those are the guys that on the on their left flank are the Phoenicians with their actual Phoenician um, noble cavalry in the back. They've got some skirmishers, light bow. Um, they've got some regular troops here, and then they've got some uh, German mercenaries with the uh, the actual German. Uh, sorry, German. Good God, see what's happening to me. Uh, Greek. Um, uh, general, he's actually running the show. They're just kind of like off on the side. They're paying the they're paying the money, or you know, paying the troops. Uh, and then there's the the main the main dude, Ashurbanipal, with some um, provincial regulars over here, some skirmishers, heavy chariots, some massed infantry, uh, the elite veteran troops, the royal uh, the royal guard, I guess, basically, and some uh, cavalry, a bit of provincial and uh, noble cavalry. And then we've got the Babylonians. Like I said, though, these guys were not painted by me. They were painted ages ago. But uh, ironically, I think a lot of them, uh, the same manufacturer, just uh, Magister Militum bought uh, chariot, uh, the chariot miniature range there a long time ago. Hold on. We gotta have some coffee. Yeah, man. And wait until you, I show you the weather that's happening for uh, this afternoon. So there's no effing way I'm going to be doing this either. And we're about to get into the high electricity rate, so I'll be shutting down for a little while and then uh, doing my other stuff. Maybe, maybe not. I'm still in holiday mode, for God's sakes. But I'm, i got to be smart. I mean, that's what happens with people in holiday mode. They always, like, spend, or at least I do, I spend way more money than I should. So these are the Hittite heavy chariots. And we've got some, uh, what I call, warband um, Hittite guys there. Some regulars, a bit of skirmishers in front of the heavy chariots. And then, then we get back, and then we get into the upstart civil uh, Assyrians uh, with some provincial uh, regulars there, some heavy archers, and his veteran troops, heavy chariot general, and uh, some uh, regulars there, and then uh, the Kushite Egyptians with some Egyptian heavy archers, uh, Libyan skirmishers. Um, these guys are veteran troops that are um, obviously um, Kushite. And from what I've read, anyways, the Kushite Egyptians, uh, the Kushites, um, you know, incorporated a lot of the uh, the stuff into, you know, into their stuff and whatnot. So I was like, ah, you know what, I'm just going to say that these guys are like uh, the ultra elite veteran types. And that's why they got the whatever. So who cares? Hey, like I've said before, man, I'm into Hollywood historical. And then we've got some uh, Kushite regulars over here. And then we get back into um, some uh, Egyptian regulars. More Egyptian heavy cavalry, and then a combination of um, Kushite cavalry and uh, Egyptian cavalry. And I'm pretending that this hill is kind of like, um, I don't know, a dump or something that they've been, uh, you know, they've been trying to repair the walls and whatnot. And these guys are trying to take advantage of it um, to try to maybe secure the wall. And then, like, oh yeah, I'm also Mr. Flatland. I used to be into like Ultra 3D stuff, but uh, it just drives me up the tree watching my figures fall down all the time. 
So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go flatland. And yeah, that's like I said, just a two two shade blue to make uh, pretend to make some oasis, which is going to slow down troops. And chariots do not like rough going in my in my world. Yeah, they stay away. And then my crazy ass um, 3D printed uh, siege towers. But wait until you see the weather. That's why I'm going to be like, this is what I'll be doing this afternoon. Be hanging out in the in the front yard and reading. Holy f! Look at that. All right, that's it. Um, yeah, I got to get back into World War One, man. Uh, it's uh, oh, it's not uh, like I mean I am in it, but I, what I'm saying is there's a lot of other things that it's detracting uh, from, uh, and um, it's um, well, a lot of it is the creative um, stuff. And uh, anyways, it doesn't matter. I know where I want to go. That's that. Okay. Hope you have a fantastic Thursday. See ya.